Hello and welcome to another Better Wars and my channel. Today we can look at Planet of the Apes from 1968 uh, versus Rise of, the Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Topic number one are going to be storyline. And the storylines are very different when it is when we look at this. Rise of the Tom, Rise of the Planet of the Apes are essentially a reboot instead of, instead of a remake. And they essentially did a somewhat different storyline. Uh, the original 1968 one, we have them going to space, they stand against red on a planet, and they found out that it is run by apes. The difference from the rise of the planet of the apes is that they are in real time, in, on our planet directly, and we will see how the apes essentially, well, revolt, you can say. Yeah, you can probably call it that. Anyway, both storylines stands out for the most part because of the shock factor they have. The one from 1968 had a shock factor when you realize where they actually are and how, and you start to wonder why, how they en ended up there, etc. And then we have Rise of the Planet of the Apes, which essentially had. What can you say? It's essentially a smaller storyline. It is centered in one city, and essentially the monkeys breaking, breaking out from the cages of the zoo, or whatever it is called, and essentially running around being crazy. Is they are not ruling the planet at that point. They just them um, getting a lot smarter, and essentially. Blow doing their revolution, essentially. Both storylines are equally as interesting, but the one that stands out the most, from my, in my opinion, are Rise of the Planet of the Apes. The reason for that are essentially that it is a little bit of a plot hole in how the original Planet of the Apes, how they essentially started to get the rule, the rule started to rule the planet, essentially. So yeah. Topic number two are going to be environments, effects and environments. Effects and environments are equally as great in both movies, in both, and in, we have, of course, many different places in Planet of the Apes. We have completely new cities, it isn't in any city that you have seen before. It's rebuilt and essentially their own architecture. But in Rise of the Planet of the Apes, you have of course, San Francisco, if I remember correctly, and it's a little bit too generic in my opinion, even though we have seen it is a beautiful city, I think when it comes to effects and environments, I think the one that stands out the most are Planet of the Apes, because of how well done it was for its time and how interesting the environments were. Time number three are going to be human characters. Human characters in both movies have their own personalities that stands out equally as great in my opinion. They nobody stands out over the other and I think all both actors in both movies are essentially doing an excellent job in the acting department and yeah, just being in the character in the moment essentially and giving them the feelings, the the emotions and everything. So this topic are going to be a tie. Topic number four are going to be best monkeys essentially or best apes. The big difference here is that in Planet of the Apes from 1968 they are essentially human-like, really human-like because they stand on both feet and stands up as humans, have clothes, and essentially have their own society. In the rest of the Planet of the Apes, they doesn't have that, they are st majority of them are still monkeys, they haven't they have clothes, they go, they walk as monkeys, and they, it feels more genuine and interesting because of that, because 
you will see the uprising of the monkeys and that is more interesting in my opinion and well and that is the re that because of that reason I still plan to race with this topic because I think it's more interesting to follow them than it was in Planet of the Age from 1968. An ultimate winner are going to be Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Rise of the Planet of the Apes have a more intriguing storyline in my opinion because we will actually see how everything goes from the beginning and how they essentially revolt. You will also see, I also think the monkeys and or apes are more interesting to follow and even though Planet of the Apes from 1968 have more interesting environmental effects and both movies are equally as good when it comes to human characters I think Rise of the Planet of the Apes stands out a lot more because of those two reasons. That's all for folks, hope to the next time.